hello students welcome back to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to start uh, problems from chapter 2 mechanics of materials by rc hepler so we can say that the strain the normal strain in wire ce the normal strain is a unitless quantity and both of these must have the same units so we can say that the change in length of the change in we can say that the change in length of wire ce is 10 mm so if we need to divide it by 1000 right so we can say that 10 divided by 1000 is be 0 0.01 meters so now we can say that the normal strain in wire ce is equal to 0 0.01 divided by 4 meters this is 4 meters right so we will say 4 and this will be equal to so we can say 0 0.01 divided by 4 this gives us 0 0.0025 and the units will be now meters per meters so this will be the 0 0.0025 meter change in every meter so this is the normal strain in YCE or similarly we can say that the normal strain in wire ce is equal to 10 mm if we keep the units of this change in length of wire ce in mm so we can say 10 mm divided by 4 meters so 4 meters so 1 meter has 1000 mm so we will multiply it with 1000 so 4 multiplied by 1000 so this is now in mm as well so we can say that we will get the same answer this is 10 divided by 4 multiplied by so this is again we can say that 0 0.0025 now mm per mm so this is the normal strain in wire ce similarly to find the normal strain in wire bd we can say that the normal strain in wire bd is using the same formula we need to find the change in length of bd so the change in length of bd is this length so from here to here this is the change in length right so we must find this change in length of BD and we can find this change in length of BD by using the properties of similar triangles so we can say that this from here to here this is the change in length of BD and using the properties of similar triangles we can say that the change in length of BD divided by this length which is 3 meters is equal to the change in length of ce so we can say that the change in length of wire ce divided by this length so we are considering two triangles we are considering this triangle and we are considering this triangle and both of these triangles are similar triangles so the ratios of the corresponding sides of the similar triangles is always equal right so we can say that the ratio of this side divided by this side will be equal to the ratio of this side divided by this side so the change in length of ce divided by 3 plus 4 which is 7 so we can say divided by 7 so now we can say that the change in length in yrbd will be equal to 3 multiplied by the change in length of ce divided by 7 and this is equal to 10 so this is 30 3 into 10 divided by 7 so we can say that this is 3 multiplied by 10 divided by 7 this gives us the change in length of wire bd is equal to 4.286 approximately mm and similarly we can use this formula to find the the normal strain in wire bd so we can say that the normal strain in wire bd is equal to the change in length of wire bd divided by the original length or we can say that the initial length of wire bd so this is 4.286 mm and the original length is 4 mm for both the wires so divided by 4 4 meters and converting into mm we will multiply it with 1000 
so this is in mm as well so this is 4.286 divided by 4000 so this is equal to 0 0.0011 millimeter per millimeter so for every millimeter there is a change of 0 0.0011 millimeter so this is the the normal strain in wire bd which is 0 0.0011 mm per mm and the strain in wire ce is 0 0.0025 mm per mm so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if this helps do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from mechanics of materials by rc hibler